Mastering the SVIDO pattern. Ace your English grammar. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into an essential part of English grammar. The subject verb in direct object direct object, SVIDO, pattern. By the end of this video, you'll be able to identify and correctly use this pattern in sentences. So, let's get to it. In the English language, the SVIDO pattern is a common sentence structure. It includes a subject, the person or thing doing the action, a verb, the action itself, an indirect object, the person or thing that is indirectly affected by the action, and a direct object, the person or thing directly affected by the action. Here's a basic example. Sarah gave John a book. Sarah is the subject, the one doing the action. Gave is the verb, the action. John is the indirect object, the one receiving the direct object. A book is the direct object, the thing being given. Recognizing the SVIDO pattern in sentences can greatly improve your understanding of English sentence structure. Remember, the direct object directly receives the action, while the indirect object is indirectly affected. This distinction is key to mastering the SVIDO pattern. Practice spotting the different parts of SVIDO in sentences you read or hear every day. Now, let's put your understanding to the test with some quizzes. 1. Quiz 1. Identify the SVIDO components in the following sentence. Peter showed his daughter the stars. 2. Quiz 2. Form a sentence using the SVIDO pattern with these elements. Dog, through, the boy, a ball. 3. Quiz 3. Correct the SVIDO pattern in this sentence. I to her a gift bought. These exercises should help you strengthen your understanding and application of the SVIDO pattern. Don't worry if you struggle initially. It takes time and practice to master. Well done for sticking through this video and working on your SVIDO pattern understanding. Remember, English grammar may be complex, but with practice and patience, it becomes much more manageable. I hope this video has been helpful. Keep practicing, stay curious, and I'll see you in our next grammar adventure.